Tune in to Raising Wisdom, where we embark on a journey of enlightenment and introspection. Get ready to elevate your understanding, embrace life's challenges, and unlock the true potential of your being. Welcome to Raising Wisdom, where wisdom is free, with Nico and Shani Poos, Wednesdays at 8. Luxuriate in plant-based skin and hair care for naturally growing and lustrous results. Indulge in luxurious soaps, massage oils, body butters, and so much more. Get 15% off your first order. Also, explore our amazing literature that will help you navigate within your journey. Make sure you stay up to date with our weekly blog that has a plethora of information concerning health and wellness. Natural Sakari, be the natural you. <laughs> Hi Vibrations, welcome to Raising Wisdom, where wisdom is free. What's going on, girl? Hi Nico, how are you today? I am well, I am well, I am loving this, I am loving this. It's here we embark on a journey of enlightenment and introspection. Join us as we delve into the depths of knowledge, exploring the art of cultivating wisdom and finding balance in our lives. Together, we'll navigate the complexities of life seeking the elusive wisdom that enriches our minds and souls. Get ready to elevate your understanding, embrace life's challenges, and unlock the true potential of your being. Ah, I'm so excited. All good energy, all good energy. Yes, 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 yes. So, <laughs> what are we talking about today, Shani? Today, we are going to talk about fighting fair in relationships. Okay. This should be interesting. How do you feel about that topic? I feel like it's a topic that needs to be had. Yeah. Because <laughs> it's all over social media. That's all people want to talk about. You know what? You're right. Yeah. Everybody wants to talk about relationships. So, I guess we're going to get into it. Mm-hmm. We're going to get real with it, too. Let's get into it. Um, but I will start out with what today's moon is. Yes. Which is the waxing gibbous. And this is a representation of final steps. So, this is the time to perfect and finish tasks that you may have already began. Um, because you're entering into a fresh new phase of life. I love that. Yeah. We are always in alignment. Yeah. I'm really excited <laughs> about that. Yeah. I hope everybody is in line, um, aligned as well with what's going on. So thank you so much for that information. Always, always. And thank you guys so much for joining us again. I'm your girl, Nico. And I'm your favorite podcast host, Shawnee from the Shawnee View. So let's get into it. We're talking about fighting fear, um, which I think like, okay, I'm just going to just dive right on in. Couples don't stay together as long, I believe, as they could to exercise like their full potential in what kind of partners that they can be because they don't fight fear and it can get nasty. I think it can get nasty because fighting fair is kind of an oxymoron because you're fighting, that's a negative, Mm -hmm. (laughs) but fair, positive. It's an oxymoron. So how do you fight it fair? How y'all fight fair? Do y'all fight fair? I say like, okay, so fighting fair would be, yes, we're having an argument. I'm not liking you right now. I'm not feeling you right now. But we've got some boundaries established to where we're not going to hit below the belt. No. No, we (laughs) are not. (laughs) But how realistic is that? Because that can be hard to do if you're not taming your ego. And that is very true. Um, Personally, I try to fight fair. Um, I think I do for the most part. Definitely in the current relationship. Okay. Um, I think I've learned. (laughs) Yeah, so he's getting the good end of the stick. I've learned. (laughs) Um, But I do try to fight fair. I do not call names. 
I, oh my God, that's one of the worst ones. I don't call names and I do not bring up past things that he may have told me in a safe space. Like, yes, that, that, is. that is definite grounds for to build resentment. Absolutely. So how do you come back from that? That's the, you know, okay, so say, so for some of us, we are trying to reinvent ourselves, right? We're learning, we're trying to disregard the past and make some new mistakes. So that means that we have to get rid of the old ones, right? right. Cool. So say you have not been fighting fair, you've been name calling, okay? You've, okay. Been, you've been bringing up stuff from the past, Stuff that you were supposed to have for uh, giving the other four. Okay. Um, you talking about stuff they done told you back right. in the day when they was young and stuff. You know? Okay. okay, so how do you redeem yourself if you were trying to begin to fight there so that you can be have your partner in a safe space in your relationship? So I'm not a professional. Let me put this out there. <laughs> Don't take my advice to heart. Um, you can just maybe add it to whatever you know to do yourself. Mm -hmm. But as far as coming back from that, um, you're reinforcing. You're reinforcing things like first you, you have to catch yourself like immediately. The earlier and the sooner, the better. Because if you let that time go by, you're letting that stuff fester, and you know it's broiling and boiling. So mm -mm, you don't want. So the way to come back from that is to acknowledge that we had an issue. We had an altercation. Okay. But we're choosing to stay together. So a lot of things that were said <laughs> unnecessarily, we got to nip that in the bud right here. Why did you say that? Why did you say that? Right. Yeah. So, so you got to manage your emotions. Yeah, you gotta manage your emotion. You give yourself and that other person that time to cool off before you dive that right back into it. That's very important. I think we have something in reference to that that's in our notes, but just speaking upon experience. And of course, this sounds better, you know, like as we're talking about it, mm -hmm. opposed to when you're actually in the situation. Yeah, better, easier, <laughs> but said, easier than said than done. Because I really, woo, goodness gracious. When I'm in it, it's like I want to go absolutely hard. But it's important to manage your emotions. So take that cool off period. You want to take a period that's not too much, though. Because sometimes you can be like, I had a cool off. And that's going to be like a week or so. Don't want to yeah, you don't wanna put that it. much distance in between it. Yes, I again, agree with that, too. Maybe somebody jumped to assumptions, you know, and... <laughs> that can lead to you going back to the street. Like <laughs> it can, but because we're raising wisdom in here, we we're not going wisdom. back to the streets. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, I mean sending them back to the street. Either way, either way. So you do want to definitely get that stuff in check. Get your ego in check. Get that's your ego really, in check. That's the main reason that there's an issue or an altercation to begin with. Yeah, the ego is not in check on either both ends or one person's end. So strategies for keeping your emotions um, in check. I mean, so what? We would just suggest doing things that takes your mind out of the heat of the moment. So if that's taking a walk, if that's taking you a bubble bath, listening to some music, just taking a break because breaks are healthy indeed. You know, you gotta recognize when a break is needed to cool off. Mm -hmm. um, so setting certain guidelines, I guess that goes with the boundaries because what are your boundaries? Yeah, set them, maintain them, and reinforce them. You, yeah. don't, you don't move your boundaries. When you move your boundaries, then that's giving too much leeway for that person to be like, oh, okay, well, you put up with this, I know I can go this far. So then next time they're gonna take it further. They're gonna take it further. Yeah. What is it? Give it give them an inch and they take a mile. Yeah. So you do not move your boundaries. Set them, make sure you let them know what they are up front and up hand. And as soon as they try to cross it, 
you could slap their hand like, hey, I told you this. <laughs> I don't like this. I don't like that. But if they go past it the next time, then that's what you. When they say slap me once, shame on you. Slap me twice, right. shame on you. Right. So in fighting fear, got to maintain those emotions, tame your ego. Um, take breaks. Take breaks. Apologize and forgive. Why you gotta jump to apologies and forgiveness already? That should have been the first thing. So after, you, after can't, you can't just jump into it. After that break, when you choose to come back together okay. and talk about everything, yes. the first thing that needs to be said is an apology. So an effective communication to fight fair. We talking about fighting. You already forgiving me. We, we fight fair. We talking about fighting fair. Okay, 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 okay. In the first step of the communication process in fight fair, mm-hmm. you want to apologize. apologize and you right and forgive. Yeah, apologize because I want to stay mad though. So what if I want to stay mad? How can I fight there and stay mad at the same time? If you time? want to stay <laughs> mad, then you you have to give it more time because if you're in that space you're of wanting to stay mad, mm-hmm. then you're not ready to hear anything they say. Even if they apologize, you don't want to hear it. Mm-hmm. So if you're if you want to stay mad, continue that break. <laughs> That's the wise thing to do. <laughs> yeah, timing and environment as well. Like, oh, wow, yeah. Well, that's what you were just talking about with the timing, though. Like, you don't want to use too much time right? when you're taking that break of the cool-off period. Mm-hmm. You, you don't want to try to apologize and this person is at work. That's that's yeah, bad not, timing. Yeah, that's bad timing, and that is not the correct environment. <laughs> you may not want to talk about that if you're at a family gathering. <laughs> you don't want to be fighting at a family ga- gathering, as far as like environment goes. No. Fight there. Say you're so. Say you're in a place like that. You out at a barbecue with right. your <laughs> friends and your family around, and y'all slick beefing. Yeah. You know, so you can't, fighting fair is definitely not going off on each other in a public setting. No. <laughs> that's not showing the unity that no. you need. And it's hard mm-hmm. to come back from that. Because now you got all eyes mm-hmm. looking at you, y'all mm-hmm. relationship. Yeah. Y'all going to be in the group text. Right. But you're not included. They talking about oh. you. <laughs> yeah. So I've been through that before. <laughs> That was one of the How did you deal with it? So we weren't like loud and like pointing. It, it wasn't crazy. Mm-hmm. But it was one of those like quiet arguments like, but you did it. Like, you know, only we could hear each other, but smiling. Oh, all right, we got to go. <laughs> so we got to go. Like, I think that's fair. <laughs> that's fair. And that's, you know, well, that's just respect to yeah. the relationship for sure. Definitely. So you got to have respect for your <laughs> significant other when you're talking about fighting fear. Right. Because if not, you're going to go wrong. But that's not, that's not a good characteristic no, to not. embody. So if you out there doing that, you need to st- <laughs> You need to stop it. Work on your communication strategy. Work on your communication strategy. All kind of stuff on Google. If you need help, seeking help when needed. If you don't want to go to a therapist because there's a stigma for you, Google it. How do I stop arguing in public? Look it up on YouTube. Guarantee you're gonna find something. I recommend that you seek help because if you out here acting up, then you got other issues that you, other underlying issues that you need to take care of now. Seek help. It's okay. Therapy is very, I mean, it doesn't have to be a total stigma. I think more people are gravitating towards therapy than they're, than not. Nowadays, yeah. Nowadays. Yeah. Yeah. But for the stragglers who have not... (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> We've not jumped onto that bandwagon yet. Google, how do I stop doing certain things? How do I get to certain places? How do I level up? Look that up. How do I level up? That's how do I level up? Mm-hmm. Okay. 
So communication, because communication rules the nation. Communication is key. Active listening. Yes. Yeah. And we talked about active listening. In, I forgot what Probably the second or third episode. Mm -hmm. Using I statements to Using avoid blame. Statement. Yes. Mm -hmm. I can't tell y'all all the ways that I cope oh. with conflict within my relationship. But I use a lot of I statements not to take all of his blame off of him, like whatever he's done. Right. But at the same time, I'm not pointing fingers at him so that he's his guards are down. I don't want him to feel like I'm trying to fight him mm -hmm. or that I'm against him. So I want mm -hmm. to disarm you and let you know that I'm coming with peace. Mm -hmm. I, you know, yeah. I feel, I want, mm -hmm. I think, you know. Right, right. That is um, a very uh, insightful tool. <laughs> Um, because it's important, I guess, for us women, as we are raising wisdom, becoming wiser, um, we have to move differently and exhibit, I would like to say, grace as much as class and, and peace mm -hmm. um, as we get older. So that was a really, that was cool um, advisory point. Yeah. Yeah, it's a good one to follow. It's not, <laughs> it's not always easy. No. But during that cool off period, that's when I can chill out and then go back with a more stable mind. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> fighting, if you're not fighting fair, things can get ugly really yeah. quickly yeah. with not having those boundaries. You've got name calling, you know, some people get violent, right. which uh, name calling is like um, a form of violence, depending on how ratchet you can get. Right. <laughs> I know I have went way below the belt and that was not one of my prouder moments in life yeah. um at all so fighting fear is just important not just for how you want to represent yourself but if you are trying to cultivate wisdom and fighting fear benefits everybody all right then you want to talk about the importance of healthy like what is it um emphasizing the importance of healthy conflict resolution. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. If the goal is to be together, then we go and we want to be healthy together. Exactly. Cause we can't be okay, so how long is this gonna last? What is the end goal? Mm -hmm. Are we staying together? If so, are we standing on that? If so, these are the things that we need to do in order to fight fair. Mm -hmm. Or we're gonna lose respect for each other. And we was just talking because it is said that um, husbands love your wives and wives respect your husband and not to say that everybody's like trying to hop the broom and jump to get married married and unmarried couples um, should have that respect in the relationship fighting fair is a sign of having that respect you know for each other and for your relationship you want to protect what you have um, not be the feet that destroy what you have. You know what I mean? So that is a true statement. Um, you also want to look at how do you all fight? Like, how? What's the conflict style of fighting? Like, mm. based on what you whatever mean? your background is or what your culture may have been. Okay, because some people can. Okay, so <laughs> with a lot of misunderstandings. In this person's background, it's okay to call names because people bounce, okay, yes, people yes. bounce back easily. Mm -hmm. Like you should be stronger than that. What mm -hmm. is it? Sticks and stones may they break my bones, but the words will never hurt. Me. Which words is very untrue. <laughs> it is untrue. <laughs> they lied to us. They what were they trying to tell us? If, if life is in um, the power of the tongue, life and death is in the power of the tongue. Yeah, you can hurt somebody with your words. Yeah. Um, but you have to that goes back to setting the boundaries like no that's not cool with me I don't like name calling like I may bounce back and we can act like we're good but I'm not yeah I'm not <laughs> at the end of the day that hurt my feelings and yeah. the pain you know and the sadness of it all turns to anger and resentment 
you know, and how do you come back from that? Because you said it in the first place. But if you have these, if you're fighting fear, then those you won't even have to worry about that type of nastiness um, to come about. We're trying to stay together, y'all. We're not trying to, there's too many people, you know, breaking apart. And I'm speaking for myself too. You know, I'm always right. speaking from an experience place somewhere. But, you know, we want to stay together. If it's healthy, if it's not healthy, then, you know, you got to move around yeah. and do, you know, what's best for you. Protecting your light, protecting your spirit, for sure. Mm -hmm. Right. So if you try everything that you possibly can and you really are doing all of the, you're using all of the tools in mm -hmm. the tool bag to make sure that you're in a healthy relationship and it's still not turning out healthy, then that's when it's. Yeah. Like, 
being vulnerable and not forgiving is setting yourself up for failure. <laughs> so yes, forgive <laughs> and then be vulnerable because you want to make sure that you're in the right mindset. Yeah. So that you're not continuing with long term conflict. We're mm-hmm. trying to nip this in the bud <laughs> so we can go forward. And our last question for you all <laughs> is how can you recognize when a break is needed? Like, what are some steps? Like, what actually transpires for you to know, oh, it's time for a break? Mm. Whether that break is cooling off for the rest of that day or maybe two days. I would not recommend going past two days. (laughs) Nope. My significant other and I, we had to talk about this. No. If If we're not in communication after 24 hours, and nobody has said, oh, I'm in the hospital, or <laughs> right. um, send me some bail money. Like, if that's not happening, we have a huge problem. Because what's going on? Why are you not speaking to me? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it, I'm spoiled. You about. can't go without speaking to me, okay? We got problems. Mm-hmm. I'm already upset. Right. Everything, I've, I've been in my head. You've right. given me too much time and space. And for some people, they may need, like, a longer amount of time and space so with the question you know how do you guys do that because some people could use a few days that's true so what are some affirmations that we can use during these few days okay okay so for affirmations we're going to deal with our throat chakra again because we're talking about communication okay and it's important that we work on these things because again communication is key um, so my first one, I think I'm going to do like four of them because um, we're talking about wholeness. We're still in wholeness right now and we want to be whole. So let's do four of them that we're going to practice for one week straight or forevermore, however long you want to do this or until the next episode of Brains and Wisdom. <laughs> Add them to the collection. <laughs> right. Hopefully they got their notebooks. You know, they got their own Brains and Wisdom notebooks. We might have to provide them with some of those, okay, for some giveaways, mm-hmm. which I'll think about that. <laughs> so the first affirmation that I have is, I always stay calm and collected when I speak. I always stay calm and collected when I speak. I've noticed when I am just chill, that's how I know I'm not you know, the anger has subsided. Okay. The, the beast has calmed down inside of me. <laughs> and I'm able to fight it there because I keep my tone a certain, you know. Right. Um, you have a certain demeanor. Yeah, a I, calm have, demeanor. I have a calm demeanor. It's, it's more inviting. Okay. Um, you exhibit, like, a more vulnerable demeanor. And it lets your partner know that you are... Um, more welcoming and inviting um, as far as the conversation and communicating with each other. So the next one is, I am a patient and active listener. I'm sorry, I am a patient and attentive listener. So we spoke about being active listeners um, and you're trying to be cool and calm. So with that comes patience. Patience is a virtue. It will be your best friend for so many different reasons if you learn how to cultivate this skill so um the second one is i am patient and attentive listener okay and then um the third one is i am safe and express myself truthfully okay i am safe and i express myself truthfully and then the last one is I trust my ability to speak for what is right than any other thing. I trust my ability to speak about what is right than any other thing. So um, I chose that one because when you're fighting fear, you can't just be doing the fabricating, elaborating, you know, exaggerating everything, being yeah. super dramatic. Okay. Assumptions. Making assumptions. <laughs> Making assumptions and just really being too extra and doing the most. So you want to um, put yourself in a headspace 
where you know when you do open up your mouth and when you speak, <laughs> it is truthful. <laughs> that yeah. way you can get somewhere. God, don't be petty. That's what that means. Yeah. <laughs> don't be petty and be doing little sidebars and stuff like that, little side kicks to the throat. Right. You know, that's not that's not fighting fear. That's still doing too much. <laughs> And if your goal is to actually move along and grow with your partner, um, then you want to, or whoever, or whoever, this is just not, you know, pertaining to relationships, even though that's what we're speaking mainly about, but just in your interactions with the people that's close to you, period. Um, you don't, may not agree with everything, and sometimes, unfortunately, you know, you can get into some arguments or something of that nature with your girlfriends. Or, you know, family members or something like that. But fighting fair still should be something that is important to your experience. So that, you know, you can vibrate higher. <laughs> it's inevitable for differences to happen and disagreements. So yeah. that's why we're talking about fighting fair. Because it is something that happens with people. Like, it's, yeah. it's just a common thing. So we just want to be more mindful on how to do these things. Mm -hmm. And sadly, we have come to the end of this episode. I'm loving this show. So I hope um, you guys enjoyed this experience. Um, we will be in the studios more often for you guys. Once a month, you will find us um, in the studio at towards the end of the month. So if you're following Raven Wisdom, like you're supposed to be, then you're gonna find us Wednesdays at 8 on IG Live. <laughs> so make sure that you comment, like, and subscribe. Also share our content so that we can be in the studio more often. <laughs> With that being said, in a world where gossip rules, we are grateful that you have come back to shine your gems on your crown here on Raising Wisdom. Where wisdom is free. <laughs> Have a joyful and